If exactly. you had lost in yeah. the Super Bowl last year to Atlanta, this past season rather, would you be sitting here today a retired member of the New England Patriots? Well, um, I thought about that. I thought about that. It's, uh, it's definitely, it's hard to get to that, that moment, that Super Bowl, and actually in, in, in win. And I've lost one in 2012, so I know the feeling. And it's, it's the worst feeling um, that you can have because you're, you're working towards that game your whole life. And when you get there, everything you get, like from 2012, that Super Bowl, I don't have a T-shirt. I don't have a hat. I don't even have the AFC championship ring. Mm -hmm. I gave it to my dad. Mm -hmm. He loves it. But for me, I'm like, I don't, I don't want that. That's the second place. That's second place. Do you remember Eli Manning's pass to Manningham? Yeah, I do. It was a great yeah. catch. Great throw. Um, I just wanted to just yeah. bring that. Yeah, thanks. Up. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> kicking me. Thanks for kicking me <laughs> in the nice. stomach. But, that was quite uh, a throw. Quite so a catch. when we, and then, you know, with the Patriots organization, they've been so successful. I got there in 2009. Um, I hadn't won a Super Bowl. So everyone in that, you know, Patriot, one, three, four, oh, one, uh, oh, three, oh, four. They won. They had three rings. I didn't have one. Right. And it was a completely new team, except for Tom and a couple guys. But, you know, to get over that old chapter, start a new chapter, start a new part of the Patriot, um, you know, way, yep. it, was, it, was, it which, was great to get it off my back, that, that 14 win. Which Super know. Bowl was better, beating Seattle or last year's with the, over Atlanta? Uh, beating Seattle. For me, because I, I had so much on mentally and physically on that game. I looked at myself and I said, you know, I'm going to go out here and play my best football for this team and do the best I can. And I made a bunch of plays, a bunch of tackles, had a sack. You know, um, in the in this last Super Bowl, I'm still angry with myself. I let up a touchdown. Mm. It happens, but you know, me against Freeman in a foot race. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 33. I ran got a 4 it, 9 it. when I was 21. Right. I don't know. You know, so. Uh, that's one thing I wish I would have made that play, but uh, you know, all things happen for a reason. So that 14 game, it was it was something. Marcellus Wiley tells me he retired because uh, you know when you, you just stop, you can't run through the brick wall anymore. When you're younger, you yeah. you run through the brick wall, then you see that brick wall, you go, I'm not trying to do that. What was the moment at which you thought there must have been a moment where you said, I'm not running through the brick wall, so it's time to go? Well, you know, I'm I'm 6'2", 260, and I go against guys that are six eight, three twenty, and I've I've done it for my whole career so every time I'm going against those guys I'm giving up so much I got to bring everything I got and you know at, at some point you just realize like these guys are what was that point every, that's what I'm asking I'm you thinking, had to have a I'm moment thinking, I'm thinking um, I would personally say you know after we had won 14 uh, 15 we went to the AFC lost to Denver um, and then last year I had the issues going on I tore my tricep my body was kind of talking to me um, I unfortunately had a PED incident that was terrible that I had to deal with, and it was a struggle. And, after, and since then, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to get through this year. I'm going to give it my best shot. We won the Super Bowl. and then. So it worked out. I mean, how many guys out. go out winning their last game? Almost no one. Exactly. Not many.